All of my notes are text files. I have thousands of them. And I can even show you here, but I but I, I use a, a program called Obsidian. Okay. Like the stone, Obsidian. Yep. And it's free. <coughs> and what Obsidian does is it allows you to put those text files into its ecosystem. And then you can start to link. You've got a document on transubstantiation. You can link it to atomic notes, to things you've heard from Matt Fratt, Scott Hahn, Pope John Paul II, and they are linked. And it's the linking that is the power. And as you grow over the years, more is linked. And you, you start to see things you didn't see when you were 25 because you did something with the knowledge. You didn't just say, oh, that was really cool. Well, tell me more. Well, I read the book 20 years ago. You took from that book that which you saw was, was powerful, insightful, and it's in your ecosystem now. Did you, did you find a difference to how you learned when you would write them on index cards versus what you would write on the computer? Was one more effective than the other as far as... Yes, the computer by far. Is that right? Because I could do searches. I, I could say, okay, I want to do a search on uh, love. All of my documents I and see. quotes would come up and I, and I would hit one of them. And then it, sh and then it, demonstrates, uh, it demonstrates what's called a graph. The, but does this not just end up exporting parts of your brain onto a machine that you then need to be reliant on the machine for? Uh, you would be relying on the machine um, as a tool. But the goal, that's a good question, the goal is that these truths would be here. Yeah. That I took the time to learn them. Yeah. And I took the time to make it mine. So what? So what? So that I would live it. And then the more you do this... You know, Jesus said, uh, I'm going away. And I and I get a kick out of it because he says, I'm going away. It's to your advantage. Mm. Like, what? I've been walking with you for three years and now you're going away and it's to my advantage? He says, I'm sending the helper. He'll lead you and guide you into all truth. Well, the Holy Spirit has to have something to work with here. And so if I'm constantly focusing on truth and beauty and mm. trying to learn about God and creation and the Holy Spirit can use that to lead and guide me into truth. So hopefully the second brain, I call it a second brain, is is reflective of what I think about. You know, and when I'm dead and gone, if you want to go in and look, you can say, <laughs> that's what he was thinking about. Yeah. So you can see they 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 create a graph. This this particular I wonder if we'd be out of this is you see the graph? There? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Those are obsidian. People can check that out. Obsidian. It's free. Obsidian. You know, yeah. If you um if you hold it up well, by your head, they, that was one it. of the thoughts, the Valley of Dothan. Hmm. What's that? If you hold it up by your head, they'll be able to see it. It's just the, okay. it's focused right by your head, so. All right, here's my brain. <laughs> Cuz I just think that's really cool. That's Put it next so to your cool. other brain. Can you see the resemblance? Point, point <laughs> at that one. You see the resemblance? <laughs> yeah. That's what's going on inside. <laughs> That's why I'm so messed up. <laughs> Somebody help me. So the, the, in there is the Bible timeline. In there are the sermons I gave when I was 25 years old. Amazing. In there You've are been the, doing this forever. Yeah. In, the, in there are the quotes of John Paul II, all 150 that just turned my world upside down. In there is Aquinas. In there is the um, marriage, all topics. Quotes, Einstein, Aristotle. Um, so did you have to take this from the cards and then manually insert it, obviously? Over time. Do you still have the cards? No. That'd be cool. I know. That'd be, that would be cool. <clears throat> that would be cool. But uh, the, the, I guess the point is, you and I are about truth, okay? I hope so, yeah. L let's not um, be just addicted like TikTok of going through truths. Yeah. Let's... let's Truth is to be, well, this, to this, marinate and to enjoy. And This reminds me of Thomas Akempis. It may have been his first or second chapter where he said, you know, if, if you knew the sayings of all of the philosophers by heart, what would that profit you without compunction or something like that? I forget. But And then he contrasts the sayings of Christ with all the sayings of the saints and says that it's infinitely more superior. 
So the point being, if I if a man lives his entire life meditating, meditating on the scriptures, and I've got a million books that I bought from Amazon and I dabble in them, he's far better off, right? Yeah, yeah. And I use my phone. You know, you probably have done this where you're you're hearing a talk or you're you're at a theater or something like that, or <clears throat> you heard on the radio something and and you think, oh, wow, that caught me, that caught me. And what I'll do is sometimes I'll I got to use the restroom, <laughs> and I go in there and I I, I mm, say it yeah. into my phone, which goes automatically into my second brain, and then when I'm alone, I can look at it because I got a whole section of yeah. of uh, seeds that I heard that I have to ruminate over, I have to marinate, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to let them go, and there's a lot of them, and um, I have to uh, I have to make it make it mine, but I captured it. Yeah, I captured it. I, I find that just this last week I've been delving into the ethics and I've been reiterating this to my kids and like trying to get them excited about it, you know? The sixth grade level. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And, and But it is interesting that when you teach or when you re-articulate something, that is what impresses it upon you, which is why I suppose if you teach a particular class, then you've, you've kind of, you know that in a deeper way than yeah. things you just read casually. Yeah. Well, that's why Father, Father Mike and I put, uh, developed this insight journal with Ascension is because... Oh, okay. Is it out yet? Yeah, yeah, it's doing very, very well. And it's set, it's set up for you to collect the gold, the insights. Cool. Uh, and uh, so I have an insight journal for myself, and that is, that is the gold of this. Hmm. It's like, this is, these are the, th- the, the thoughts that have become so foundational and instrumental in my life that if uh, I'm dead and gone and I gave it to you, you could say, that was the goal. Mm. That's what motivated him. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.